We're here today at Sawney View Gardens. It's a cemetery in Cumming, Georgia. And we're here to pay our respects today to a gentleman known as Junior Samples. You probably recognize the name from Hee Haw fame. But before we head over to see Junior's resting place, I'd like to carry you to the resting place of one of my best friends. I know you clicked on this video so that you can see and pay your respects to Junior Samples. But also here in this cemetery is buried one of my best friends. She was taken away from us way too early. And there's a gentleman on YouTube, he has a, a channel called Sidestep Adventures, where he goes out and he finds forgotten cemeteries. And he has a, uh, a saying where people pass away twice, once physically, and then the second time they pass away, which is actually the saddest time, is when no one remembers their name. So my best friend, it's Tracy Tuggle, and I don't want anyone to ever say that she passed away twice. To let you know just a little bit about Tracy, she was a single mom, and she raised two beautiful young daughters, Kristen and Amy, and she passed away way too soon. She had just turned 50 years old on June the 20th. She passed away July the 11th, 2013. Tracy had a few things that she just really, really loved. Two of them were her daughters. She also loved Jesus. But if you ask her what her passions were, she loved NASCAR racing, and she really enjoyed playing poker from time to time. Nothing illegal, just free games at local places. So Tracy, I love you. I'm leaving this for you. So now that we've paid our respects to Tracy, let's go over and visit Junior Samples. And in honor of Tracy, I'm gonna put this video out on her birthday, June the 20th. So if you wanna find the final resting place of Junior Samples as you pull into the cemetery, go past the office, just stay to your right, go past the mausoleum, and right in front of us, you'll see a large cross. That's kind of where we're going to be going. You just pull around this way, stay in to your right. Bang to your right. And then right here, this first right, right as you pass the cross, that's where we're going to park. And we're going to walk up this walkway here, and that's where we'll visit. Junior Samples. So Junior is located in the Garden of Devotion. If you walk right up this path toward the cross, right before you get to the cross, this is Junior's final resting place. So if you notice on Junior's headstone, there's a plaque with a fisherman. Junior loved to fish and that's basically how his career got started. When he was 40 years old, he told a story to a local radio station about how he had caught this humongous bass. Well, they informed him that that was the largest bass that had ever been caught anywhere, and it was a world record. And he was, they kept trying to get him to find out where he weighed it and how he knew it. Come to find out, he ended up eating it. Well, that was released as a novelty record, and some of his other stories were too, and that kind of is what started his career and in 1969. The folks at Hee Haw asked him to come be a part of their cast. You probably remember Junior as the bumbling man in overalls that would pop up in the cornfield and forget his lines. But probably most memorable is his used car salesman act, where he would be selling used cars at sample sales with the phone number BR549. All you gotta do is give him a call and they'll make you a deal. And he'd kick the car tire. That's where it came from. If you ever wondered where BR549 came from, Mr. Junior Samples. Now a lot of folks didn't know Junior had five children. 
And while he was on Hee Haw, those children would at times make appearances on the show. If you remember the classroom scene where the kids would be there and they had uh, one of their actors in a dunce hat and the kids would be shouting and throwing paper wads at him, things like that. I think Minnie Pearl was usually the teacher. Well, five of those kids were juniors. Junior was nominated for a couple of awards also in 1969 and in 1970. He was nominated for a Country Music Award Comedian of the Year. Junior's weight fluctuated over the years, at times reaching nearly 400 pounds. Probably had something to do with his untimely demise. On November 13th, 1983, at 57 years old, Junior Samples passed away of an apparent heart attack. So through the years, there were many rumors that surrounded Junior Samples. One that uh, really wasn't a rumor, but it was more of a practical joke. Was at one time, he said he was going to run for Lieutenant Governor here in the state of Georgia. Well, the media, as they do today sometimes, took him very serious. It was all just a practical joke. One of the things I remember as I was growing up, don't know if it's true, couldn't find anything on the internet about it, but as I was growing up, someone once said that uh, once he became famous, he paved his driveway or his garage, not sure which one, with silver dollars. Couldn't find any pictures of it, couldn't find anything to back that up, but back in the... Uh, Late 70s, early 80s, that was kind of what the rumor was. Again, just a rumor. I want to say thanks for joining me today as we paid our respects to Junior Samples. And thank you for joining me as I paid my respects to one of my best friends, Tracy. If you like this video, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, the road is closed. Thanks for the laughter, Junior.